Hey there guys, this is Joe with Sloppy Joe Shred Check, and today we are going to be talking about the Squire Classic Vibe Stratocaster. Let's see what I think about this little thing. Well, anyways, if you haven't seen me before, welcome to the Shred Shack. My name is Joe. Very nice to have you. Feel free to click subscribe and smash that bell notification. That would make me feel real good, and I like feeling real, real good. Now, if you have seen me before, welcome back to the Shred Shack, buddy. I appreciate it. Oh, man, I've been cooped up in the house for too long. <laughs> Anyways, by the way, big shout out to Bruce from Good Times Music. He is the one who makes these videos possible half the time. I walk into Good Times Music, I grab stuff off the shelf, and I say, Bruce, I'm taking it home. And he goes, all right, well, I guess I don't really have a choice in the matter or anything. So, yeah, I basically run the show. Just kidding. But Bruce is a wonderful guy. If you find yourself in the Houghton, Michigan area, take a swing into a shop and buy something, it would make me happy, and it would make him happy. But now that the sales pitch is out of the way, let's talk about this thing. So last week I did a playthrough of this, and I liked it. It plays like a Fender Strat, but it is a Squire, as you can tell there. So I'm just gonna whip the specs out as I see them real, real quick. All right, so we have wood, more wood and more wood and it's shiny who would have thought i'm kidding anyways we got three single coils right here obviously your classic volume tone tone going on there you know normal stratocaster input jack we have the vintage style trim this one is locked all the way down but if you wanted to have it floating you totally could the classic 25 and a half inch scale that fender and squire are known for we have some vintage style tuners so they are right there as you can see we obviously have a bolt-on maple neck here it's got a real cute little square logo on it right there you got the string tree or whatever they call that thing i think it's called the string tree so that is right there now this has a nine and a half inch radius neck on it so the fender you know radius on there so that's totally fine then obviously it has your little uh, trim cover there too. This one has two pieces of plastic, so that's super great. All right, and then as you can tell there, that is not rosewood, that is not ebony, that is Indian laurel, I believe. Um, now, I could be wrong, but just from memory, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but yeah, it looks kind of cool, nice and dark, you know, and honestly, you know, from a distance, it looks just like rosewood. It has like the same color profile for sure. Now, the frets are called tall and narrow frets, so they, they have a little bit of, you know, height to them, which is great. I like that a lot. I don't like feeling the fretboard under my fingers, and this actually raises the string up pretty high, not like extra jumbo frets or anything like that, but it raises them up enough so you can, if you have a really light touch, you can actually not feel the fingerboard, so that is fantastic. Obviously, we have a tortoise pick guard, or how are we to say that? Tortois, if you will, but whatever. And then the cool part is that this also has squire stamped uh, little saddles there, so that's pretty awesome. And then finally, it has a bone nut. And actually, you know what? I completely forgot. This is a poplar body, so... Um, but I thought it might have been alder, so honestly, I didn't realize this was poplar. So what do I think about this instrument? Well, honestly, I'm a bit surprised. Um, it's pretty good. The fret ends were really, really clean. Um, you know, it's nice and shiny, which is great for the, the aesthetics, that's for sure. Honestly, it's about as heavy as a Strat would be. Um, you know, I have two Fender Deluxe uh, Stratocasters that I have heavily modded. And honestly, they're about the same weight. And to be totally frank with you, the fret ends on this, yeah, they're a little sharp, but they're not terrible. But the fret ends are actually in better condition than what, you know, my 
uh, Fender guitar was for sure. So that is uh, a theme that I've been noticing from Squire lately, is that they are taking really good care in the QC uh, for sure when it comes to their production models. So um, I don't know why I said production models. They're all production models, <laughs> but I don't know if anyone has a custom Squire. Well, you know, there probably is. I should probably shut my mouth before I get in trouble here. Um, the pickups are definitely more vintage sounding. Uh, they're, they're just, you know, vintage Alnico pickups. So they sound really, really good. Um, in the patch that I'm using, or the, the patch that I was using for the demo, they sounded really great. Um, I kind of had it based on like a Jeff Beck-ish inspired tone. Um, you know, I was running like a JCM 800. I'm very aware he didn't use a JCM 800, um, but um, it's it, that tone was inspired by him for sure. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a good sounding guitar. Now, if you're looking to buy a strap, but you don't want to make the big Fender commitment, and you kind of were looking, you know, in the sub $400 price range, you know, this would be a really good choice, I have to admit. It sounds like a Strat, it plays like a Strat, it has the big cool CBS headstock, so that's pretty awesome. Um, you know, honestly, like, Squire's come a really long way over the last few years, for sure. Um, you know, I wish there was more I could talk about this guitar, like, weird, you know, niche -y features and everything, but honestly, this is just a rock and roll guitar, man. Like, this is all it is. It's three pickups, a switch, and some knobs. Nothing special. <laughs> it's a strat. What well, well, more can I say? Oh, yeah. It has a tummy cut. Oh, yeah. Okay, but that was probably the last thing that I could ever say about this thing. So, um, I really like the tones that I was able to get out of this. Um, historically speaking, all of my guitars have very high output pickups on them. So... Um, I'm not used to vintage style pickups or lower output pickups, so for me, a lower output pickup is a nice treat. A piece of chocolate at the end of a nice meal, if you will. Um, <laughs> wow, these analogies are terrible. Hey. It sounded like you were at a slight stopping point. What do you want for dinner? Ah, uh, that would be really good. What is that? Zatar white bean and rice bowls. <laughs> no, that sounds awesome. Sylvia says hi, just so you know. <laughs> Talking about eating dinner, are you gonna get me chocolate after dinner? Am I eating chocolate? Yeah, you have chocolate. Well, I have those cupcakes that I'm making. Oh, perfect. But I also have some chocolate-covered espresso beans someone gave me. Mm. So, what a perfect timing. <laughs> So yeah, let's, uh, let's throw this on real quick, and let's just, I don't know, play with a few things. Now, I'm not going to dive really deep into the guitar tones here or anything like that. Um, if you want to hear more tones, go back into the playthrough. It's the part one of this, you know, Squire Classic Vibe series for sure. Um, and with all my stuff, you know, the part one is always going to be the playthrough where I do a multiple tones, I shut up more, and I play the music, man. Um, let's just throw this on. I'm just gonna kind of whip you through a few of my favorite things that I stumbled across, you know, which were, you know, honestly my favorite Stratocaster type sounds. So, I mean, this thing sounds like a Fender Strat, and that's all that really matters. If you're looking for a Fender Strat on a budget, this is it. I'm gonna let you know right now, this is the way to go. But yeah, you know, obviously with most single coils and Fender cleans, it, they sound really, really great, so I have no complaints there whatsoever. So I'm just going to flip through, you know, all the pickup configurations real quick.
But yeah, it sounds really, really awesome to say the least. Um, and obviously, you know, with a little bit more gain on it, it sounds very, very nice. <laughs> And obviously, when you crank it up a little bit, also sounds really, really great. <laughs> It sounds really, really good. Honestly, super, super easy to play. You know, um, I like the way strats feel, so maybe I'm a bit partial here, or impartial. Or, I'm definitely not impartial, I'm definitely partial, is what I should say. I am partial to the feel of a Fender Stratocaster. That is the correct way to put that, and I'm sorry for all of the excess sentences here. Now, this guitar is coming in at $349 at Good Times Music. Now, I'm very aware that prices have increased. Um, so they're actually $399 on Sweetwater, Musician's Friend, all the big, uh, in the, all the big box retailers. So um, pay attention to that. Um, I'm not going to get into the politics of it, but um, unfortunately, prices rose because of a certain trade war. Um, you know, regardless of how you feel about the situation, guitar prices and gear prices increased because of that. So, um, personally, now would I recommend this guitar to a friend? Yeah, I would. Um, especially, um, you know, if I started out on a guitar with something like this, I would be really, really excited. I was borrowing when I first started my friend's little junky, junky PV. And, you know, it was a great, great guitar to start on. But if I would have had something that was a lot more solid like this, oh man, that would have been really, really nice. But, you know, honestly, like this guitar feels like my, my Fender Strats and that's what counts. If you're looking for a Strat on budget, this is gonna be your jam right here. Um, now, obviously the big thing is gonna be like the, the lacquered neck or whatever this is, this glossy neck. I don't particularly like that, but you know, um, honestly, when I'm playing it, I don't really notice it. You know, I complain about glossy necks, but every time I play a glossy neck, I never notice that I slow down or anything, so, um, but yeah, this is a, this is a good guitar, and it's definitely inspired from that old 70s CBS era, or late 60s, or whatever, whatever the CBS era was, it's a big old headstock there, so, anyways, I'm gonna shut up, I like this, you should buy it if you're looking into it, so, if you like what you're seeing here, definitely click subscribe, smash that bell notification, and follow me in all the upcoming videos. Now you can also hit me up on Facebook. Just pretend this is a keyboard and type it in your browser, you turkey. Or hit me up on Instagram at sloppyjoes underscore shredcheck. Anyways, I'm Joe. This is a Squire classic vibe Stratocaster. I'll give it a solid 7.2. It's a good guitar. Uh, it's definitely, um, a great beginner guitar for sure this is borderline intermediate so um i would probably actually no i would say this is an intermediate guitar if i'm being frank it, it's solid this would last years and years and years so anyways later